Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, okay. if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down or you're gonna be missing a hand. Lee. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <gasps> Enough, both of you! <sighs> well, come with me, then. Do you want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that bag. We got work to do. What's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. 
Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. How can I help you, miss? It's Mrs. So I need potatoes, carrots, onions, flour, oats, salt, eggs, apples if you got them. Sure, not a problem. Big family, have you? Something like that. And you sell clothes? We do. Not the widest range of latest fashion, I'm afraid. That's all right. I'll look at everything you got. Of course, Mrs. Kilgore. Don't worry about me, Mr. Kilgore. You go get your mail. I thought you were going to the post office. Morning to you. Good morning to you, sir. Flew out of the darn way. What did you get there, Harry? Howdy. Nothing. Hello there. What do you mean, nothing? What's in the park? <clears throat> Mister. Great Scott. Gentlemen. How do you do, sir? Morning. Sir, good morning. Hey there. Hey, hey there. Foles with more strength than you. Help, my sister's newborn had more strength than you, and he came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. Hello there. Mister? Fine morning today. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Mm-hmm. All best now. I'll see you soon. I think this soon. is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared yeah, all the him. work. I, I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Well, you sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm-hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook, please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You Steve. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh! Go, go, go! God damn it! Get moving now! Whoa! What the hell was that? They was gonna rob us. New pair of pants. Think you're landing Ricketts? Oh, shut up. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. Yeah. You shouldn't have crossed the rain. Well, you wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your whip. Oh. 
You okay there, Sadie? those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks, but maybe not. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post. Anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of bottles. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shit. Stay shut alert up. there, Javier. Good morning, Arthur. Hola, Tilly. So, what do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. The rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. Hey, y'all. Get it all out, Arthur. How you
Good to see you putting your back into it. Hey. Hey, what are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine and I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No, it has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Well, I suppose I should move a bit. You gotta find us some food. I know. Thank you. What you mean, folk like me? Oh, uh, <clears throat> you know. We could really use some more meat, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Oh, damn. What? John? Good morning, Arthur. It's cologne. You're a pathetic Can't man, John Marston. Well, I'm very Don't I know it? Me too. Me too. married once. Thank you, Arthur. You were? Yeah. Only it turns out that she was already married. So I was party to bigamy. Just another sin to add to my list. I 
suppose not. Hey there, Jack. Hi, Arthur. All right. Hi there. Horses will be glad of that. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. <laughs> we'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Nothing here. There we have it, Domino. They was telling me they don't let blacks in that saloon in town. I have a good mind to go and burn it down. Here, how much, I'm afraid. this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. It's the least I can do. Excuse me, you listen to me. I ain't got ideas above my station. I just ain't doing that no more. We all of us have to sing for our supper, miss. Sure, and singing's fine, but I'm done with that, and if you want me to leave, then that's fine, too. Well, I suppose I can discuss the matter with Dutch. Do whatever you goddamn please. <sighs> Station. She thinks we don't know her station. 
Miss Her friend just sold egg. How Hello. dare she? Yeah? You seem in a good mood. Very funny. Well, I won't go spoiling it. I suppose. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Sometimes, I suppose. Well, sure, well, as you were. You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing. A lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well... You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. But I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. Are you gonna serve that pig swill, Pearson? Do you want to cook right or not? Always good to see you. Huh? You know, you should get out of here for a bit. God, that'd be nice. You'd be doing us all a favor. Not now. Just leave it. I'm only kidding around. You ain't funny. Oh, hey, Arthur. I, I left some of that horse medicine I made for you by your tent. Thanks again. Appreciate it, Sadie. Hi there, Arthur. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? No reason. Just making sure. Sure. Oh, hello. Yeah.
Hey, mister, will you give me some money? from right here. If that was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Bloodbath and Valentine. Read all about it. Some idiot tried breaking into my house the other night. Yeah. Poor fool didn't know I slept with a shot. Can't believe what I just said. Oh, I don't want no trouble. No, 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 no. Please don't go. Please don't go. <laughs> no. Mister, I've been trapped down here. Why are you dressed up like that? I've seen some sick perversions in my time, but this one might take the prize. No, 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 wait, please. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. Hey, boy. Welcome. Come have a look around. Some ammunition's on the shelves, but I keep the guns locked. Take a look at the catalog and I'll pull out anything you'd like to see. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Always good to have a full stock on ammunition. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Been a... I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right! I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, him. you can always come back after he wakes up. You, you just stay away from me. Now, what I tell you about talking to your pa that way? Oh, oh, thank God. He can't see I only do it for his own good. Why 
Are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Just what the hell is going on here? He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad Shoot son of a chains. bitch. Shoot the chains. <laughs> oh, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh you, you I'm sorry. Son of a... Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that riverbank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you? You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's too late for apologies. You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. <laughs> now I've seen it all. Hey, sir. I can't say I approve of this shirt. Hey, mister. How do you do? I ain't working for him more than I need to. Some poor dumb bastard tried to rob me last week. Clearly busted my hand through his head in. I had it with this damn place. <laughs> Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir, there is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. 
Yes, I gotta sit me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. me. That don't look good. You could try washing once in a while. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. No. This must have happened recently. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. <laughs> Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay, Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. 
Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. They're right again here. A drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill. Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the right. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Hush, buddy. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. Hold on. Wait for them to move. Leave me laugh, though. We won't catch the rider. Grab the other fella. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Lamorne! 
over here. You're fighting folks who died or something. <laughs> Try that again. Sons of bitches come from! We're putting you out of business! I'm gonna You ain't got a chance. Not against an army, boy! There's more coming up from those huts! Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when our friends notice the shine's gone. Easy. It's okay. Well done! <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quiet. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? 
Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Quite so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was gonna say you're like a son to me, but you're more than that. 